Okay, in chapter 2, we're going to be dealing with negative numbers. In fact, we'll be dealing with doing arithmetic with positive and negative numbers all combined. So, negative numbers are an extension to the number system. Now, when you first started in your arithmetic, you started by, I mean, the first application of numbers you came across was counting. So you have objects, uh, like fingers on your hand or things that you're counting, people in the room, whatever. And you start labeling them 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth until you've pointed at everything. And that tells you how many things you have. Okay. Now there's another application of numbers that you learned since then, which is measurement. And in this case, um, you know, if you wanted to start at the end of a ruler, it's marked as zero. And then if you uh, measure something, say something is this long, like that, and this is like your ruler, you'd count it off as one, two, three, four, five, six, and here's seven. So it's in between six and seven. And so you'd have to estimate, and this might be six and a half or six and a third, something like that. Or you can use decimals to go in between. So decimals and uh, fractions are two ways of going in between the whole numbers. Okay, So this represents an extension of the number system to the numbers in between the counting numbers. Now there's another kind of extension, which is many kind of problems involve going two directions from some starting point. So for instance, if you're standing on a road at this starting point, you could say that going to the right would be going in the positive direction, and then going to the left, you could represent as going in a negative direction. So if you say, take five steps to the right, here's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, but if I said take three steps to the left, you'd go one, two, three. And, but this is in the opposite direction, so we'd label it minus three. Okay, same idea if you're dealing with temperatures, it might be an up and down kind of a scale. So, for instance, um, on your thermometer, you th usually see thermometers as vertical, and here's zero degrees. And then as the temperature gets warmer, the scale goes up. If it gets below zero, then the scale goes down below zero. So this would be positive, and this would be negative. Okay, so positive and negative numbers are a way of dealing with situations where you're going to go both directions from some starting point. Okay, let's see if we can use the number line to figure out what it's like to add positive and negative numbers. Okay, let's take the most familiar example first, which is two positive numbers. Let's take three and a five, and if I want to add three and five, let's get a picture for what that process looks like. So three steps to the right would represent a positive 3, and then 5 more steps to the right would take us to the point on the number line labeled positive 8. Okay, so here's 3 plus 5. So the pattern what we're gonna, that we're going to follow is we do this number of steps followed by this number of steps. Okay. Let's see how that would apply if some of these steps were negative. What if we have a negative 3 and a negative 5? So what I'm going to do is add a little plus in there. I'm going to add these two negative numbers. Well, a negative 3 means you take three steps to the left. And a negative 5 means you take five steps to the left. And what you're going to end up with is 8 steps to the left. And so you put a minus in front of it, so it's minus 8. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Minus 3 added to a minus 5 would be a minus 8. Okay, so far so good. So if the direction you're going is positive, you add up your numbers in your positive direction. If the direction you're going is negative, they both combine to give you a negative result. All right. Well, what if one of these is positive and one of these is negative? What if I have a plus 3 and a minus 5? 
to add these, remember this minus sign does not mean subtraction here. It's actually a label on the 5 that says it's a negative 5. Okay, so let's put parentheses to make sure that's clear. So if I want to add a positive 3 and a negative 5, it means I do the one and then I do the other. I take three steps to the right. And then from here, I go five steps to the left. Notice that where I end up is at minus 2. Okay, so we're adding two numbers, but one of the numbers here is negative, and so we're going to end up um, at a negative 2. All right, what if I have a minus 3 and a plus 5? If I want to add those. Now, in this case, I don't really need the parentheses. It's whenever the two signs come together, we need parentheses because it's not, it doesn't, it gets confusing if you try to put two signs right next to each other. Okay, so we could simply say minus 3 plus 5, but I'll just go ahead and leave it like this for now. Okay, this means you first take three steps to the left, and then you take five steps to the right. And where you end up is at 2. So notice that minus 3 added to a plus 5 is really the same as 5 minus 3. So it looks like addition and subtraction are somewhat related here, but all of these examples are examples of addition where the numbers we're using can be either positive or negative. In the next section, we'll actually come up with a rule to be able to add positive and negative numbers without having to use the number line every time. But the idea here is to just get an introduction, and it's important that you get a good, firm picture in your mind of what you're doing when you're adding with positive and negative numbers.